emotions. They're like, oh yeah, the guy with Pepsi Steam shore. comes in every once in a while. They, they're not really much to really the test uh, the shore. LED in the headlight, but we'll, we'll take this. Known quite well by She's a regular combination. She's a whole dash cannonball. Proceed to 15. Hey everybody, this is Pensy Joe back again, finally after at least a month. As you can see, it's really echoey in here, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a new place, right? So uh, me and my significant other just bought a house, and we just finally moved in. Uh, we're not completely fully moved in, as you can see. I only have a couple of my uh, stuff here already. Got my travel case with some of the locomotives that I do not have any space for in there already um they don't have any boxes uh, but i was able to bring those along and as you can see we got this nice basement here goes all the way in here and it's really nice and cool down here so this is going to be great for electronics uh, obviously i'm going to replace a lot of these uh pellets here they don't really look that good um, but on the bright side, it's uh, it's a great opening. So, as you can see, we can start over here, walk all the way back. Here's the back area. There's to go to the stairs to go upstairs and the other place for the garage. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna start planning on a layout. Uh, we do have a good amount of space here. And I'm trying to think about what I'm going to actually do. And now for here, we got a nice turnaround area right over here. This is probably six feet, maybe six, seven feet right over here. And then uh, I'd say about 12, 15 feet over here. Another 12, 15, 12, 15 feet. Another six seven feet and this would be the rest at three feet right there that doorway maybe maybe just more than that that's a nice opening and over here we got like shit it's longer i say it's longer than this room so it's probably like 17 to 15 17 feet same thing over here and there's like an under the under the stairway kind of door so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really remove that. I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna try and figure out what I can do with this area. How I'm gonna loop, do these loop arounds and whatnot. But um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, if I wanted to start, I'll have a, you know, a Broadway, four tracks, do wide curves around here. This will be the city industrial area as we're going through. And then we're gonna do a nice curve around here. And then we're gonna wiggle back and then we're gonna do an island right here where this turntable is gonna be. Somewhere around here for two double track. Then we'll meet back over here, come back around, go straight, do a nice wide curve all the way around, still city area. Now two tracks can go this way, but I'd like to go around here curve out and then go around here and then we're in another place so this will be a mountain right here this will be a mountain um, not sure about the lighting here or I could do like a, a tunnel with a mountain on the hill and maybe do some decorating around here to make it so I can access the light here and uh, yeah there'll be like a mountain ridge line over here and then a tunnel that goes just straight, there's no switches inside the tunnel. All the switches are gonna be outside of the tunnel so that it's easy maintenance and the trains just go straight through. And then this this area is supposed to be, I'm not, this is gonna be the main Pennsylvania area. This is where a lot of the Pennsylvania stuff will be happening. It's gonna be an industrious area. So I'd like to have the roundhouse as a centerpiece with the island. So it's gonna be a peninsula somewhere right around here. It's going to be a 30 stall roundhouse. So it's going to be a big roundhouse. And then the roundhouse, I think, in total diameter is going to be about five feet. So I'm going to need seven feet to go around. So I want to, to go as far as possible forward 
so that when this, when this curve comes around, to go around and do a wide curve around, it's gonna go like this, and then fall through, and then over here, I'm not sure where this is, this is probably gonna be the Tri-State Johnson City, or something like that, um, pretty much near where I, where I live. You can do Johnson City, Kingsport, and Bristol. And I'm not sure if I can do this, but when I go around here, we're gonna go this way. And then over here, it's gonna be the main Johnson City area. And then it's gonna curve around. But what I'd like to do is to do this, just this area as a double decker. So it will go lower, maybe about two feet, uh, a, two, a foot or two, so that we can travel all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida. So it can do a double track. So there'll be double track going that way and then double track coming around the mountain here. So it'll be a mountain area right here. It's, this can be more country mountain area. So I'm not sure what that area will be for Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if it's gonna be Philadelphia or if it's gonna be Harrisburg. Um, can't be Altoona. <laughs> um, but I, I, it, I wanted it to be an industrial area. And then we go into like more countryside, but there's a lot of business around here. And then obviously Johnson City is going to have, it's going to be like a city. And then I guess they're going to have two tracks veer off from the main line. So as the four, as you know, the tracks come over here and become four. So the four Broadway would be like this way. And then as they come around this curve, right? They're gonna split to do the island, but then there's gonna be two tracks going wider, but they're gonna start declining. And it's gonna be one of those oval helixes. So it'll be an oval helix. They'll come this way and go around and just keep going around as an oval helix. So I have more declination over a long period of time. And plus I have a lot of access. So when I come around here, I'm gonna be able to walk this way and walk this way. And I'd like to maintain around two, two, two to three feet, probably three feet if I can. Otherwise this is gonna be a narrow area, which is gonna be fine. It's fine if it's just a you know, four broad four track and it's just that scenery. So it gives like the idea of scenery so as a train comes around a mountain, there could be like a couple, you know, businesses right here, but then it's gonna really pinch narrow over here and it's gonna have, still have hills and mountains to be based off of, you know, the Appalachia, because we're traveling through Appalachia to get to Tennessee. Now people are wondering why we're going to Tennessee. Well, I live in Tennessee now. So I'd like to be able to have like a part of my life incorporated to it. So this is still a fictional railroad. This is not based off of real Pennsylvania, except somewhere over there. That's gonna be based off of Pennsylvania. That's that's Pensy land. This is upper level Tennessee, and then two feet below, it's gonna be it's gonna be Jacksonville. So we're gonna travel as we're gonna go down. It's gonna go down and it's gonna have a tunnel that goes down that represents going down to Florida and you know going to Georgia and all going through Georgia and all that stuff along the east coast so it's it's basically like a huge letter T sideways coming from Pennsylvania or you can make it a triangle and call it the the Bur uh, what I was thinking about calling this division I was thinking about a name for my railroad division I'm going to call it the Bermuda Divi division because it's a triangle to coming from eastern Pen Pennsylvania and then you got you got Pennsylvania, you got Tennessee with the Tri Cities uh, Tri City area, and then you got Jacksonville at the bottom. So it's like it makes a triangle. So it's a it's a Bermuda route or the Bermuda Division, which is fictional, but it's I thought it was a cool name. They called the Bermuda D Division because of a triangle. Where I'm from in uh, Florida, that we have the Bermuda Triangle off the coast. So it's a cool idea. So as it goes down, as we go down, what I'm thinking about doing 
is as it goes down to the bottom, it, it's gonna go to the right a bit and then it's gonna go left. So obviously we're gonna have us, when it curves around to the main area, I mean, there's space for to go in the door, but I don't need too much space for this door to open. I'm not gonna store too much inside there. Maybe storage boxes, perhaps. But I'm gonna have like, we're gonna have like maybe three feet so that as we go down, we have a lot of space. So that as we go down, well, maybe not that wide, but as we do this uh, helix like oval here, so I can have a lot more declination by elongating the helix, you'll be able to go down probably right around here and then it's gonna fall and go back this way and then keep going around and maybe even fall around back into the Pensy area and as we go back to the Pensy area, I wanted to try and keep it over there but now that I think about it, I'm like, you know what? I might as well just keep going around so that under the roundhouse or what I can do is that I can do a, a, a balloon loop with the double, a balloon loop near, uh, like pretty much the lower level is gonna be, this is the main level, pretty much with the window. So I can put some like scenery right here that would be really, really cool. Maybe like a tunnel for cars and whatnot, the buildings right by the window. But we're gonna go like one, two feet above the outlets here and be able to go all the way around and then go back up. Now, the great thing about this is that I don't have to necessarily go to Florida. Florida could be a future expansion and Florida will be the future expansion, to the road to Florida, and that'll be the, the lower level. But I'd like to do the main level first and I'll extend the loop to go, to do a declination to do the oval helix down here, ma mainly in here. So you got two centerpieces. You got you got the Tri-City State, you know, the Tri-Cities along this middle area over here with the with the the nice oval helix in the middle, which is gonna be pretty cool. Um, but it will also be very helpful so that I can always see the train as it goes around. The only area I won't see is around here. But here's the thing, there, I mean, I can always have like a little yard here, but like I can always access this area in case anything happens, but it's it's not too much of like an area that I'm not, act, not able to access. So I don't have to really worry about, and plus there's no switches down here. There'll be absolutely no switches around in the, in the helix area. I want to be able to access the helix at all times on either side, on three sides actually, I want, and I want it to be visible, but I'm going to do like a facade thing to make it so you can see the trains go down. I mean, it'll take away from the realism, but that's okay. I don't really care. I'll get to see where the trains are going. Or I can make like a little thing where you can twist and you can take the panels off so you can see it go down. But at, at least at the end when it's curved, I'm not going to put a panel in front of that. So that's that. But the Florida expansion will probably be part two. The main area will be trying to get... Uh, Pennsylvania to Tennessee and then I'll finish the Bermuda area. So this is, this is where the, the double tracks will go around. And like I said, I don't have to necessarily go to Florida because as I stated before, when the train goes around, when the, the Broadway goes around here, the four tracks, it's going to split off and go around the city, the two tracks. And one will probably go into the station and a couple other businesses. But there, there's always, there's gonna be two switches over here waiting for expansion. And there's also gonna be maybe one more switch just to go a little bit further, closer to the door, so that I can have maybe like a, just a, just a small business over there. But yeah, those, the, the switches where they're not gonna have any tracks or connected to are gonna be for future expansion. So the, com there's a complete loop going around on the upper level. I don't have to necessarily always use the lower level, which is a great thing because otherwise I have to wait a very long time to be able to access the entire layout. And I don't want to have to just keep going back and forth. I want to loop. So doing the upper level first would be great. And then doing the lower, working, constructing the lower level at the same time 
while also keeping the main level, you know, usable and in the, foresee in the near foreseeable future, instead of waiting until the into the entire level, like you know, both levels are done. So, yeah, that's my plan. This is a uh, this is exciting. You guys will be along the ride for this, and I'm sorry about the echo. It's just it is what it is. And obviously, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with these lights and fans and whatnot. And I'm probably gonna have to figure out how to add like a lighting system so it makes it look like more realistic. I'll have to figure that out. And uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a process. This is a learning process here. Before we only saw a simple oval on the floor. Now we're gonna see a, a proper layout start to form at some point in the future. I just gotta make sure. It's gonna take time. Uh, I'm not gonna start doing drawings. I have a rough idea of what I'm gonna do. I just need to take measurements and start doing CAD drawings uh, what the layout will probably look like. And then before that, I just gotta make sure financially everything's fine and you know everything's set up for us at home first and then we'll start getting into the, the fun stuff of building a layout and doing track plans and buying track and getting buildings. But I think I'm gonna do track, I'm gonna do the bench work first, obviously I'm gonna do the bench work first and I'm gonna try and get power supplies and figure out how many power supplies I'm gonna need for this layout. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And what's cool is about you know having the lower level being lower. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna to have to crouch down a bit, which is fine. Um, you know, eventually I'm gonna plan on having a family, so I might have a helper around to be able to help me out with the lower level at some point if I get too old. But you know, I, I'm pretty sure you know <laughs> we'll have a layout going before that time comes. Anyways, guys, this is Pensy Joe. I hope you guys uh, like this return video with a surprise like this of the future for this railroad that I plan on doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video later on. Bye now. To the engine, hear the lonesome hobo squall, riding through the jungle on the wall bash cannonball. Well, the eastern states are dandy, so the western people say, St. Louis to Chicago, Rock Island, by the way. From the hills of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall, no chances can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. So listen to the shingle, the rumble and the roar, as she glides along the woodland, through the hill and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engine, hear the lonesome hobo squall, riding through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Now here's to Daddy Claxton, may his name forever stand, and may he be remembered in the courts throughout the land. When his earthly race is over, let the curtains round him fall. We'll carry him home to victory on the Wabash Cannonball. So oh, listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar as she glides along the woodland through the hills by the shore. Oh, my God.